What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Chuck Finley here with, with Let's Play Sonic Generations Part One. This is the uh, the game that represents Sonic's 20th anniversary. Uh, this is the game that Sega, you know, put a whole bunch of effort into Sonic's 20th anniversary. The first game to the first main series console game to have all of the 2010 voice actors and actresses present. Uh, we s we heard Sonic's new Sonic and Tails' his new voice actors or actor and actress in uh oh, let me turn this up a little bit Sonic in uh, Sonic Colors, but the other ones weren't in. But the other for the other for the friends they weren't in the Sonic uh, they weren't in that game. They were only in the DS game. All right, so this game uh, saves automatically at certain points. You know uh, the usual stuff that it usually uh, it says. Now, here uh, here it's a, a small options menu, but I'll go ahead and show it off. You can change the voiceover language to, uh, to Japanese, English, French, Italian, Dutch, and uh, Spanish. I'm going to have it English. You can change the music volume, the effects volume, the controller tutorial, the Omo Chow hints, the uh, subtitles. Definitely want to have that on. You can set the brightness of your TV, and you can set if you want stereoscopic 3D. This is the first Sonic game to have stereoscopic 3D in it as well. I don't know how popular that was. Uh, I definitely don't use it. So, you know, I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, you can continue if you have a save file, or you can just hit new game, and that's what we're going to hit. Now, if you notice there on the left side, this is also Classic Sonic's first game, uh, first time being in a main series uh, console game, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess next generation console game. Alright, so uh, you can tell this is supposed to be Green Hill Zone. Uh, you can see that we got uh, choppers, buzz bombers, motobugs, these same enemies that we saw in the first, first game. And now, uh, there will be a lot of uh, even crab meats as well, but there will be a lot of si uh, similarities between uh, the games in this in the, in this game. They will follow different. Uh, they will add certain elements that w that were in their original counterparts, like the beginning of this of this level. Uh, If you, uh, no, <laughs> sorry. Uh, if, well, no, I'm not. If. If, or I'm not sorry, not if. I keep saying if. The, uh, like the beginning of this, of this Green Hill Zone was the exact same as the original Green Hill Zone. I mean, it is exactly the same. Uh, Enemy placements, the, the time the enemies pop up, everything is exactly the same. And there are uh, difference, or there are elements in this game that are exactly like their original counterparts. It, it won't be the exact same. There are remixes of those zones, but there are large portions if you know where to look that are the exact same. Like through here, there was never, there were, there was never any totem poles in the original. You can see there's, there are several totem poles stuck around. Uh, uh, there's another couple instances, I believe, down underneath, which are the same. This corkscrew, I do not believe, was there. And you can see the signpost uh, returns. And what you do for... Uh, the, the 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 ranking system returns from the previous Sonic games, uh, S being the best, D being the worst, and the way you gain uh, ranks in this game is, or the S ranks is you have to get to the A rank, you have to get enough score to be able to get an A rank, and then also not die. And I'll uh, talk more about that as we go on. I prob there are a couple zones in this game that I very well may die from, and I'll be able to show that off.
Now, if you notice that a little bit of dialogue, the dialogues are improved, I guess you could say, from Sonic Colors, but it's still, uh, it doesn't have that forced humor where it doesn't need to be, but it is still pretty bad either way. Uh, you can see here in this white world it acts as the hub menu or overworld. We cannot go any farther than just this area, so uh, to enter the stage all you have to do is just push upon the control stick. And you can see it says yeah, it's asking us if we want to play Act 2. Uh, this sign, which is its first debut in this game, the sign warns of a dangerous fall. Now Omo Shao will tell you tell you different uh, different things at the start of each level. Uh, there's only a set, you know, a, a small amount of things that they'll tell you at the start, and then well, it'll, there will be a, there'll come a point where it'll just keep telling you things that you already know. Now, in the demo version of this game, Sonic would actually say "ready" and then "go" along with the uh, with uh, with the words that pop up on the screen, but uh, in the released version, for for some unknown reason, he doesn't anymore. But you can see this is the first time that's, well, I, it's not actually the first time that uh, Green Hill Zone was made in a, or had a, has a 3D version of, of it made in the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, or uh, just Sonic Adventure 2. If you collected all 180, uh, oops, I always miss that one. If you, in that game, in Sonic if you collect all 180 emblems, you can gain, you will get a reimagine, it's not really a reimagining, but it's a 3D version of Sonic, of uh, Green Hill Zone, which Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is the, is uh, Sonic's 10th anniversary, so, you know, you can, under uh, you can understand why they would add something like that. Uh, so, you've, if you notice, the trick ramps return... Uh, there, there's a trophy tied to if you can do all seven, if you can pull seven combo tricks on a, uh, either through a rainbow hoop that allows you to use tricks, or if you can, uh, do it on, do it on a ramp. But you have to make sure that you do seven in a row. You can't, uh, you know, break it up. It has to be on the same ramp and seven in a row. Uh, I'll get, I'll get more into the trophies later on, but if I see one that pops up and I know what it is for sure I will talk about it like the other ones that I got at the start of the game I don't remember exactly what all they're for and so I'm not I'm you know I'm not gonna uh, comment on those I'll you know I'll take a look at them once I in this video but uh, this game the modern Sonic sections take a lot of uh, Elements from Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors, the you know, the daytime sections from Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors, but they improve on it. They uh, you know make everything work a lot better. Sonic's a lot. He's, he's not as slow to start off as uh, like in Sonic Colors, and his top speed is a lot faster than it was in Sonic Colors. But he's not as uncontrollable as he was in Sonic Unleashed. Now you can see you can do different combos, and then once you get to the end or at any point during the uh, during the trick thing, you can make uh, you can do a uh, you can do a final trick that will gain you extra points and extra boost by hitting both the R1 and the L1 buttons at the same time. I usually miss it, uh, so I don't normally do it. I just try to uh, do push forward on the con on the directional uh, on the uh, control stick because that's the fastest set of tricks you can do. And you can get actually you can get a lot of tricks and quite a lot of score and boost. Uh, now, if you saw there, it, well, I won't talk over this. Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. This place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. We're no stranger than rescuing genies and magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. 
if you notice what Tails said about not uh, remembering Green Hill Zone, it's because he has never actually played there in a main series game. There are some spin-off game, uh, you know, like spin-off racing games where you can actually run around on Green Hill and have uh, Tails run on that track, but in the main series story, he has never actually been to Green Hill Zone, so he, of course he wouldn't remember it. Uh, but okay, we can see here you can switch. You can now switch between the two Sonics. Press the triangle button to switch Sonics and use both to explore the world. You do actually need both Sonics uh, to progress through the game. It does take a moment while it's uh, saving or uh, auto saving, and the, with whenever it's trying to save, and a trophy pops up, it usually takes a few a few moments. But you know that's not usually too bad. Uh, you can see, see I'll switch to this uh, classic Sonic really quickly. Uh, there is no really bi improvement, or you know, there is really no reason to to use uh, Sonic here. Uh, revisit Sonic's memories here in the collection room. New items are added as you collect red star rings and notes. Come back any time to check your collection. Now uh, you can see here you can look at movies from the game, uh, artwork from the game, music from past Sonic games, and. Uh, Character statue, uh, like statue models, uh, from the game in different games. Now this store here, you can buy things for. for uh, let's see, there's an act. Yeah, okay, okay I should have to talk to Omo Chow. Hi, I'm Omo Chow. When you clear a stage, I'll give you points as a present based on the rank you earned. You can use your points to buy skills here in the skill shop. Skills will give you new abilities. Welcome. This is the skill shop. You can spend shop points here to get new skills. Uh, now you can see here the points at the top left of the screen right above the lives and you can see the skills here are have different uh, uh, point amounts. Uh, now you can see here sure-footed land on your feet after getting damaged. This requires 20 skill points to equip. Uh, skill points are something different. The points that you gain from beating an act and skill points are different. Uh, let me see. If Skill points. Well, there's something that I want to see if they, if they have. I'll buy it. Uh, but if you see here as well, on the right where the star is on the slider, on the right side of this uh, little window here, you can see an Act One and an Act Two yellow uh, mark and a blue mark. If you see Act One and Act Two in the same thing, that means both characters can equip it. See down here, Act One. It means only modern uh, classic Sonic can equip it and use it. And like these two, uh, blast off and speed up. Uh, only modern Sonic can use these, and uh, you can buy extra lives if you're having trouble uh, keeping lives, which is something very useful if you have trouble with a, with that kind of thing. You can see you can buy a Sega Genesis controller, which allows you to play Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis, and I'll talk about that later on. But uh, sure-footed, you land on your feet after getting damaged. This requires 20 skill points to equip. Begin with 10 rings after a restart. This requires 40 to unlock. I believe. Both classic and modern Sonic have 100 skill points to start off with, and throughout the entire game, and you have to uh, equip things based on that. If I'm not mistaken, uh, get an extra life when you're out of lives. This requires 50 skill points to equip. Drop rings take 10 seconds to disappear, which is useful. Athleticism lose lose less speed moving uphill and in water. Uh, Blast off, press square when go appears to get a free boost. This requires 10 skill points to equip. Speed up increases Sonic's speed. Uh, they don't have what I'm looking for, so I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and save my points for now, but I figured I'd just go ahead and show that off. Uh, there's something that will help Sonic break a lot faster, that once you get that, it will it'll help you out a lot better. You can see, uh, Classic Sonic breaks okay. Not the best. I'll, so I'll look here, at, uh, I'll show... Super Sonic or Modern Sonic. You see, his braking isn't that good. You can see there's still a little bit of slide time, and with this braking thing you buy in the skill shop, it'll stop you right and dead perfectly. It, you know, there will be no uh, about the acts really quickly. Switch Sonics before entering stage gates to access either Act 1 or 2. Act 1 lets you play side scroller style stages with easy to learn classic Sonic controls, and Act 2 stages will switch. Gameplay between side scrolling 2D and 3D forward views. You can enjoy high speed pla uh, high speed platforming gameplay in these stages. You can play Act 1 and Act 2 in any order. Act 1 tends to be easier though. Clear an act to proceed to the next stage. The path will sparkle until the stage is cleared. 
that's kind of up, up to debate, uh, being easy, or, now from here you can see you can either go to skill customization, you can equip skills you acquired here, the skill you can equip is determined by the number of points you have, so choose your skills wisely to create your own skill set, uh, you have different skills that you can uh, equip, uh, customize, you can either customize it, change the name, or equip the set, uh, let me see, Oh, power break. Okay, so I guess you I guess you have that right off the bat. So you can see there at the bottom bar, uh, we'll go ahead and equip that most definitely. Uh, you have ten. I use ten points out of a hundred, and we will equip that. And we'll use this for both characters. You do have to uh, put put items in both characters, which is a pain to do. But, you know, it's just something you have to do. I believe if the check is, the little check box there, I mean, I believe, I believe that means it's equipped, so it comes equipped already, and you already have the power break at the start, which definitely helps you out. The first time I played this game, I didn't realize that I had the uh, the power break at first, and it, and it definitely hurt me for quite a while. It was a very, I played the game for a, quite a while before I realized it. The tops of tubes can be broken, break the top to climb in. That is a feature... Uh, the the uh, chemical plant here has, and I'll uh, show that off once I get to it. And you can see here exactly the same as in the original. You can accept the only difference is, let me see if I can get back up there to show it off. This version doesn't have a tin ring box right here. And in, in the original version, there was a tin ring box right there that you could get. And this version only has three rings, which is okay, I guess. But it's, you know, definitely no tin rings. But anyway, uh, if you notice, there are red star, red star rings that you can collect. I will not actively be going after them. I will, uh, you know, if I see one and it's along the way, I'll get it. But I'm going to uh, take the view of the red star rings in this game like I did in Sonic uh, Sonic Colors. I will devote a, uh, a game to its, uh, uh, or I will devote a set of videos to the red star rings like I did in Sonic Colors. Uh, so, you know, that, yeah. Uh, you can see this enemy is called a Spiny. Uh, those uh, those are the enemies that... I believe those are the... Well, no, those, those weren't the only enemies in this game. But they were the enemies that uh, are most commonly associated with this zone. And that you see in most uh, space levels, like in uh, Starlight Carnival Zone. Except in this, in this game, they look a lot... Like their original cells, other than, unlike other Sonic games that kind of you that they look slightly different. Come on, there we go. Right. I definitely, I definitely will say they say uh, super uh, classic Sonic's easier to use. He's a little bit too fast with his jumping. You know, his his movement's not quite as precise as it as it should be or it needs to be to make him useful or even fun to play a lot of the time, which uh, forces you to uh, buy upgrades to fix that, and I don't even, I'm not even sure if you can buy an actual upgrade to fix that uh, thing. Now, if you notice what, I, what you had to do there with that Red Star Ring, and I'll talk about it once I get to the Red Star Ring video for this level, but all you had to do was just uh, make sure that you use the spin dash when you got to the when you first got in the, in the water and you, you'll get it every time now uh, those spiders I don't remember exactly what their names were uh, right off hand so I, I you know I'm not too familiar, familiar with it if you notice I just about I just about didn't get the S rank and you get uh, you gain uh, let me see. I don't know the exact mathematics for it, for the the type of, uh, like how many skill points you gain for, or not skill points, but the points you can buy things in a shop with per your end uh, act score. You got a red star ring, your item collection will grow as you collect red star rings. To see your new items, head left to go to your collection room. Got our artwork one, artwork two. Now it doesn't matter which order you get these in. Uh, 
you know, it's any order. As long as you just collect them, you'll gain different things. Uh, you'll acquire different things to collect, uh, like music or artwork or different things like that. Uh, press L1 and R1 to move quickly to the left or the right to use the uh, quick step move. The quick step move is once again tied to the L1 and R1 like they were in the Sonic Unleash, which I'm very happy they did. It makes it a lot easier to use and it's a lot more fun and a lot less gimmicky. And I'm glad that they gave you a boost right off the bat and it's again, once again tied to uh, rings or score points instead of uh, instead of white wisps. Now you can use a a uh, uh, what, what is it? You can oh crap! Well, there was one I forgot. I forgot about that jump. You can use the drift, which is tied to the L2 and R2 buttons in this game. You can also jump on the. Uh, Run, run along the water like you could in uh, Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors. And you can also push boxes or uh, kick them by boosting into them like you could in Sonic Colors. Uh, like I said, it, it plays exactly like uh, the game uh, Sonic Colors and Sonic Unleashed, except it's a little bit tighter and it's a, a, little, a lot better. Now, I will say, having just come off of us. Uh, Ha having just come off of Sonic Colors, it, the the gameplay style, the jumping for this game is a little uh, f floaty, I guess you could say. It's a little bit too fast, especially, yeah, the skydiving is definitely a lot faster in this game. Ah, you have to be ready for it, but it's, it's, it's weird. It's kind of hard to explain unless you played Sonic uh, colors, and then you come to this game. You do not have the uh, the double jump in this game. You you have the jump dash once again. The homing attack is uh, once again tied to the. If you see a lock on uh, cursor, you can use the uh, you can use the homing attack. It's not just it's not random like it was in old Sonic games, uh, you know, like from the adventure series onward. It's more precise, like it was in Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors. And if you uh, yeah, I ha you haven't noticed, I'm I'm sure you haven't noticed it because you really can't hear it all that well because I'm talking over it. But the music in this game is also muffled uh, once you, once you're under, once you go underwater, just just like in Sonic Colors. I believe there's a red star ring over to the to the left side, but I'm not again. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm more focused on the S ranks because this game is actually very e uh, it's very easy to acquire the S ranks in. And there's a lot of uh, trophies tied to getting the S rank, so you know I can understand why it is so easy to go after the S ranks. Now you know you, you do have to worry about not dying, but uh, I find it very easy not to die in this game. Yeah, you know I, I find uh, Sonic uh, modern or classic Sonic to actually be uh, harder than uh, than. Uh, modern Sonic, even though, you know, the game says it's the other way around. Now, there is a time, but, uh, it's largely based on time. You, if, if you get a good enough time, you'll gain, and I'll show off this, the score thing if it doesn't go away. You can see I gained, well, uh, 54,540, uh, points, and I should have gained 540 points to, so I can use to buy in the shop. Now, because they were both in Chemical Plant in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, they would both remember it. But they don't remember every single location they, that they go to. If you notice, Sonic at the start uh, has said uh, something along the lines of, it's not as strange as rescuing genies and magic books and uh, aliens and interstellar amusement parks. The genies and magic books was a reference to the first Wii title, Sonic and the Secret Rings, where he, 
he actually uh, saved the genie in that game. And Sonic Colors, which was the game right after this. The events in this game follow directly, are supposed to be directly after. Uh, directly after the events of Sonic Colors. I'm so psyched I get to hang out with you, Sonic. Come talk to me anytime. You remember when I was talking about the uh, dialogues getting bad? Well, actually, the uh, voice, the voices are pretty hard to listen to in this game as well. Especially if you're used to, if you're not used to them, or you don't really care for them, or you like one, uh, one, s one area or the other, or in, uh, one era of voice actors like the adventure era, or, uh, well, I guess so, Jason Griffith's era, or the Sonic Adventure era. Now, if you notice, you can hear a remixed version of the music for each of these zones be right before you go in, go into the levels, and then you have another remixed version, uh, in both Acts. Act 1 is a supposed to be um, it's supposed to sound like the original but it is remixed a little bit Act 2 however is supposed to sound like more modern sonic uh, more modern s sounding s uh, games with more uh, guitars and different instruments like that now this is almost the ex almost the same except in the original and you can see the Death Egg rising in the background. You can also see the Death Egg rising in the background in the original game as well, except you didn't, uh, except you really couldn't tell it all that well, you know, because of the graphical limitations of that game back then, as well as, uh, well, yeah, I guess that was just the, the graphical limitations of this game, but at the beginning, uh, which you had to, had to do in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or just Sonic and Knuckles, Knuckles had to activate that, uh, that bridge for you, and there was not an egg robo at the at the start. Uh, this is uh, s just some of the small differences between the originals and even the areas that are supposed to be like the originals in this game. Now the egg robos in this game are actually pretty uh, lethal. You have to always be uh, be watching out for them and be careful because if you uh, they shoot a lot faster than they did than their original counterparts did in uh, Sonic uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and they fire a lot faster and there's not really a, a large area where you can uh, dodge uh, dodge them uh, dodge their laser shots so you always have to be looking out for them, always have to be careful and there's also another remixed version uh, if you gain, if you grab a pair of speed shoes uh, the music will be begin will become remixed once ag once again. Now there you can either use yeah I'm definitely too used I'm one I'm used to the height from Sonic uh, from modern Sonic and I'm also used to the homing attack. But uh, there's actually a, tr a trophy tied to some clouds here. They. Uh, if you can get through a section of clouds without dying, you'll gain a trophy. Now, this uh, hovering platform actually debuted in Sonic Sonic 3 and Knuckles in the Marble Garden Zone. And there's a lot of throwbacks to old Sonic games, uh, you know, obviously. But there's also other uh, elements from different from different levels in different games, like in uh, a later that we'll s uh, a, a level that we'll see later on actually has ties to Labyrinth Zone from I believe uh, Sonic One I believe it was Labyrinth Zone uh, should uh, believe that was the the uh, water zone in Sonic Three and this is a a level from the from the modern era of uh, Sonic from the Sonic series the er the eras are the classic Dreamcast and modern eras, and I, I believe, I'm sorry, it's the, the, the Dreamcast era, not the modern era, era, uh, I think of this game as the modern era, not the Dreamcast era, yet fans, uh, fans know best, and so Sega added it like, 
Sega added it like that. Now there are three red star rings here at the... Oh yeah, you want to you be careful there because you can actually very easily get caught and die there. And I see there's three red star rings you have to take different paths to get to the end there. And uh, again, you know, I'll talk about that later on. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I don't remember every single thing, like every single bit of... Uh, the, the, the walk on air, I got, I got the trophy. Uh, I'll talk about it uh, at the end of this video. You know, I'll show off all the trophies that I gained. But uh, I don't know every single uh, detail or air area that they used from previous Sonic games. But I will talk about the uh, trivia for each era. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an a. a uh, three eras in one video, unless it just gets uh, a little too long. I know this is a little bit long, but you know this is the start. This is the starting video. As I go along, it won't be quite as long. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let this uh, cloud my judgment. I still may do, you know, the classic area in video in the part one, the Dreamcast area in part two, and the modern era in part three and then I'll just go on from there with the other stuff and I think that's how I'll do it but uh, I'm gonna I will either t if I can find the the uh, throwbacks for these levels like uh, Sonic uh, Green Hill Zone uh, Chemical Plant and Sky Sanctuary if I can find, if I can find those, I will talk about them. But if it's going to, but if it if it will spoil uh, the game, I won't talk about it until I do the wrap up video. Uh, you know, but, you know, I, I don't I don't know whether I'll be able to find it or find it or not. I haven't looked for it myself. Now uh, you saw that finishing move I did. I done with the L1 and the R1 buttons, you can, and you can gain quite a, a nice bit of uh, score if you use the uh, the finish move. And maybe the finish move is only available in this level. I don't know, but you can see you can you can gain quite a bit of boost. Ah oh, crap! Well, there goes my S rank. You you got to be careful with that. And I'm s so used to uh, I guess the double jump uh, being able to save myself. I'm definitely, I'm definitely way too used to uh, the height from Sonic, from Sonic Colors, and the ability to use the double jump from Sonic Colors. So I don't know. This may actually uh, turn out to be pretty difficult. I, I don't know though. I haven't, I didn't run through this game like I should have, and I probably will do that for part uh, for the other videos later on, but. Uh, but you can see you can use the clouds to uh, jump off of them, just like in uh, Sonic, as uh, in modern Sonic or classic Sonic area. You can actually use the clouds in the original. Uh, in the original, oh yeah, these these guys will shoot three three lasers instead of one, so you got to be careful. But uh, you can actually, well, like like these platforms, they are similar to the platforms from Sonic, uh, from the Sonic Unleashed level Dragon Road, in which you had uh, to wait for uh, holes in the platforms as you went along. Uh, as you went uh, as you went along through there, and those are, those are similar. While they're not cut in the same way, the holes are not in the same shape and everything, but they are, you know, they are pretty close. Uh... Lost my train of thought again. Ah, yeah, yeah, the clouds. You, uh, the clouds were actually something that you used in the original uh, Sky Sanctuary zone. Uh, you want to be careful doing that. Most of the time, you won't actually die if you just uh, hold down the boost and you know for, forget where you're going to go. And you can actually gain quite a bit of time here if you're fast enough to make sure that 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 uh, egg robo does not. Uh, hit that button before you can get in there. If you go the other way, it's a lot longer and a lot more dangerous, and you actually have a, a larger chance of dying if you go that way. And uh, 
Oh, yeah, I was about to say what, just what Omo Chow said. You'd have to be careful because of the floor will uh, fall out from underneath you through that section. And uh, that's similar to the original, uh, I guess that's Modern Sonic's version of the original section in, and you can see there he goes, two next rank, had to get a perfect clear, which means not die, or don't die. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, there you go. Now, what I may end up doing is, because there's a bit of, uh, BS involved with at getting to the boss fight, the boss fights, which I will show off, and because I am getting a little, uh, is, this is getting a, to be quite a while, time-wise, I may end up doing this, and I'll talk about it in a moment. This place is so white and creepy, I've never seen anything like it. I can see the sections up above have opened up. Challenge Act gates have appeared. New challenges await you in each act. There are five challenges each in Acts 1 and 2 for a total of 10 challenges. An icon is shown next to each Challenge Act gate that shows what kind of challenge awaits you. Uh, for, this, for the sneakers, or the speed shoes, it's uh, a time trial. The hand is a technique. Uh, the doppelganger is a where you have to race a ghost version. I guess that's more of a time trial. Friends, where you have to use your uh, friends to help you complete the challenge. C uh, kill a, n a number of enemies. The item, I don't remember exactly what it is. I believe you have to hold a certain item for a certain amount of time. Collect a a enough rings. Juggle a signpost and rescue uh, s some fr uh, some flickies. Uh, but I'll show off the challenges in a moment. Uh, you actually have to use the challenges to uh, access the boss fight. You have to beat one challenge from... And let's see if I can... Uh, find three boss gate keys to unlock the boss gate and face the boss. You can get a boss gate key by clearing one challenge act in either Act 1 or 2. Make sure to come back here after you've obtained the key. Obtained the key. Uh, now something that I will do, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the challenges in this video just because it's uh, getting to be quite a while. I will, however, race uh, Metal Sonic up here. You see that is the uh, classic version of Metal Sonic. Uh, face me if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. You can see the purple Chaos Emerald uh, rival battle, and we'll. Uh, this strange-looking spring is a decoy will send you off in the wrong direction. So watch out. Those first debuted in. I guess, uh, Sonic Unleashed. When you take damage, you'll drop the ring. Okay, yeah. Uh, like I said, you'll see a lot of the same thing as you go along, but sometimes you'll see new things. Uh, but yeah, so this boss fight, or I guess this rival fight, it's not actually a boss fight, uh, this rival fight will take place in... Uh, Star... Light, uh, Stardust Speedway. Act 3, Bad Future, I believe. I don't remember the... I think that's what it was, Stardust Speedway. Act 3. But the music is a remix of that, and this is, a. Uh, this isn't exactly like the original race. It's more like the, uh, if you watched my... Yeah, you, you have a you have a time limit, and if you take damage, there is no way that you will be able to uh, hit him. You know, just just because it does take a while to get to get uh, started up speed wise. Oh, you know, I, you know, I didn't think you actually jump on him like that when he was. Yeah, you want to uh, slow down a little bit and let the electric. Uh, let the electricity go, and then just jump into him if you can, and there you go. Not too difficult. The only thing is not having any rings, or the rings appearing in the air when you don't know where they are. 
I can see where the shadows are. Not too, not too hard to dodge. Uh, the only thing you do not want to do is slow down because you can see the platform or the ground is crumbling behind you. If you do, oh come on! If you do f uh, fall behind, however, it's not too difficult to uh, speed back up. But you just don't you don't, don't want to come to a dead stop like you've seen me do. Uh, you see how difficult it is. Uh, and now all you have to do is just dodge this final attack. I don't think I can actually hit him again. They probably won't give me any more rings. Or a top platform to jump on. The only thing you can do is just keep running and hope that you can outrun him. I think you can. There is no... There we go. And then all I have to do is just... Come on. Just jump into him. He takes four hits to, de to defeat. And then after that fourth hit, you kick him in the head and... He blows up. <laughs> not quite like the original, but, you know, hey. Uh, thankfully, there are not actually S ranks that are tied to these uh, these rival fights. So if you don't get the the S ranks, uh, uh, these S ranks don't tie into the trophy at the trophy S ranks, or the trophy based S, S ranks in the, in the game, so you don't have to worry about that. If you're bad with a particular rival boss fight, now only uh, some rival boss fights, only certain hedgehogs can do. Like classic Sonic can only do this boss fight, while some of the other rival boss fights only metal, uh, modern Sonic can do. You got a chaos emerald. Legend says collecting all seven will cause a mysterious power to emerge. Uh, you can redo it anytime you want to, uh, which is always useful. You can see there is that's what one of the keys look like. This is a boss gate key. To get a key, a protective shield must be removed by clearing one of the act. Challenge acts in either Act One or Two. One Act One or Act Two. Collect three boss gates keys. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sh uh, talk about the trivia for this game, and I guess I'll go to uh, Chemical Plant Zone. I like the music there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk about the trivia here really quickly for the classic era uh, Green Hill. Green Hill Zone. Uh, Green Hill Zone is the first stage of the 20th anniversary celebration game Sonic Generations. This level is a reimagination of the Green Hill Zone from the original Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Mega Drive and part of the classic era. Uh, enemies in this level are Buzz Bomber, Chopper, Normal and Gigantic, Crab Meat, Motobug, and the Buzzer. Act 1, Classic Sonic's rendition of the well-known zone consists of, the, consists of the young hedgehog running through the section at, pay, at pacing to high speeds, running up downward, running up downward vertical spirals, and running and running on ceilings, and platforming on wooden swings while balancing on springs to, to the nostalgic end-level signpost. Modern Sonic's take on the level begins with him pacing and eventually speeding through Green Hill, performing extra combo tricks, grinding and blazing through by using his boost move, only available to modern to modern Sonic, going up half loops and doing dangerous and sometimes unorthodox ways to get through his levels focuses on the newer generation taking elements from Sonic Unleashed to Sonic Colors by performing combo tricks and going to the extreme treacherous areas after pacing through the level he comes to a cave where a gigantic chopper starts destroying the rails Sonic is grinding on afterwards a bit more platform must be completed before the end of the level uh, let's see to find some trivia. Uh, despite the level being a remake of Green Hill Zone, some th some elements of other s some of other similar levels are included in the stage. Most notably, the corkscrews from Emerald Hill Zone. However, Act One, uh, however, Act One of the 3DS version has the same as hey, it's the same exact layout as on as Act One on Green Hill from Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, the stone totem poles featured in this level seem to be the same ones found in Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Racing Seed Hi Seaside Hill version. This is one of the only stages of Sonic Generations to be in both versions of the game. Uh, for the console version and the 3DS version, the other being Casino Night, but only through its downloadable content. And the signpost at the end of the level on the uh, console version, it shows classic Robotnik, while on the 3DS version, it shows modern Robotnik. A demo for modern and... Uh, a demo for modern and classic Green Hills was released on October 19th, 2011. Act 
2 of Green Hill on, on the console version seems to be the only classic level that isn't falling apart. The modern versions of Chemical Plant and the Sky Sanctuary are falling apart. Ironically, the totem poles are falling apart in the 3DS version's second act. And the console version, Green Hill is one of the two zones to have a boost version of the Act 2 song. If it being Sky Sanctuary, it also, it's also the only zone with a boost remix in the 3DS version. Buzzers appear in this stage even though they didn't appear in the original game. It's only present in the console version that was the 3DS uh, version as Buzz Bombers instead. The color of their textures in the console version resembles the ones from the original 16-bit version, while the 3DS resembles the ones from the 18, uh, the 8-bit version. It is one of four levels of the 3DS version of Sonic Generations that have appeared previously on a handheld game. The other are Casino Night, Water Palace, and Tropical Resort. Alright, so that's uh, Green Hill Zone. And now I'll talk about uh, Chemical Plant next. Chemical Plant is the stage in the game Sonic Generations in the Genesis area of the game, representing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It is based off of the original Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It is also home to Metal Sonic Classic, who can be found in the hub ta talking to him engages in the first rival battle. Uh, enemies in this level are the Spiny and the Grabber, so that's what the spider is. Uh, Classic Sonic starts out next to two roads, leading a quarter of the level and leading into a new place, a mechanical room with machine claws controlling the place, leading to the original Mega, Mega Mac Rising. When escaping, the player will run through a loop thereby causing him to hit the gold plate. Modern Sonic starts as usual running through combo tricks and special ramps directed him, directing him to the two roads both the high and low lead Sonic to a large tube sending him down with the blue chemicals after he falls Sonic runs into a room where the Mega Mac is beginning to rise just like in Act 1 but deeper and slightly quicker this time when escaping the area of the chemical plant is self-destructing he then proceeds to race into the gold ring uh, this is starting to get on my nerves a little bit We'll just stop there. Uh, let me see. Act 2 looks similar to the day stages of the Robotnik Land from Sonic Unleashed. In Act 1 of the classic version, the level's theme sounds very similar to the original Chemical Plant Zone, ex music except that the drums are different. The modern version of the theme is a lower pitched rock remix. I seem the video of the Mega Mac in Act 2 is deeper than in Act 1, but, but like in the original Chemical Plant Zone, the Mega Mac in Act 1 is constantly rising. In Act 2 of this stage, the Chemical Plant seems to be self destructing. It's maybe an homage to Act 2 Terminal Velocity from Sonic Colors, where Terminal Velocity was being destroyed. Even though the Pink Mega Mac is considered deadly like most of the liquids, Amy finds it pretty. I guess it's something she says if you talk to her. This is the only stage in the classic, classic era that doesn't have a fast remix. In Act 2, Super Sonic cannot push the yellow blocks with boost. As a result, it is possible for him to get stuck in submerged places until he runs out of rings. Huh. That's odd. Very odd. Uh, the modern stage contains a water slide that is reminiscent of Lost World from Sonic Adventure and Canna's Core from Sonic Adventure 2. This is most likely a coincidence, however. Like Chemical Plant Zone, Canna's Core is also contains differently colored water. The zone contains fewer badniks than any other zone in Generations. Act 2's background music can be considered by some of the most different uh, by some as the most different of all the modern remixes in the originals. Meaning that it uh, doesn't that it sounds a lot different than the original version, or even the uh, uh, remix. Alright, so I'm going to do uh, Sky Sanctuary now. If I can find it. Let me see. Alright. There we go. Okay. And you can see what uh, what Classic Sonic does if you uh, have him waiting. He just kind of sits there like he did in the original uh, games. I'll switch characters and we'll see what uh, Modern Sonic does. Sky Sanctuary is the third level in the uh, console version of the game Sonic Generations. It appears in the Mega Drive Genesis era of the game, representing Sonic Green and Knuckles. Egg Robo appear in this stage of Spadnix in both Classic and Modern versions. Also, the spinning tops from Marble Garden Zone are used. The boss stage for the Sky Sanctuary is the... Uh, I'll leave that I'll keep that a secret uh, act one has classic Sonic's goal in this stage is uh, classic Sonic's goal in this stage is to reach the goal post in time first you must run through numerous ancient floating buildings in the sanctuary then almost at the end of the stage you will have to run up a 
collapsing, collapsing path that will lead you to the goalpost is similar to the end of the original level in the game Sonic and Knuckles. The 3D section of Act 2, the 3D section of the stage is similar to the Act 1 stage. You must speed your way through numerous ancient floating buildings similar to Act 1. Sonic must run up a collapsing path that will lead to the goal. Egg Robo is the enemies here. Uh, in both Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Sonic Generations the Death Egg can be seen in the background of Sky Sanctuary and Sonic and, and, uh, 3 and Knuckles. The next level is the Death Egg Zone. Uh, I'll keep that as a, s a secret as well. In the Sky Sanctuary hub there are trees with grapes growing, up, growing on them. In the manual of Sonic 3 and Knuckles it mentions that Knuckles' favorite food is grapes. Knuckles is one of the five characters that are saved and appear in a stage in that game. The others being Rouge, Espio, Blaze, and uh, Charmy. The crumbling ground from the end of the original level is featured in both acts. The Death Egg is seen rising in the background of both acts. The original level is actually from Sonic and, and Knuckles. A Sonic 3 level was not featured in this game. This level is meant to represent Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the combined version of the two games. As well as Green Hill, when using boost in this level, the music speeds up faster tempo, even though Classic Knuckles was in the original version of Sky Sanctuary and Sonic and Knuckles 2 wasn't seen in this version of the stage. Uh, Sky Sanctuary is the is the one of two final levels to appear as a stage of the console version, the other being uh, uh, two final levels to appear as a stage of the console version. Since it was the last level in Knuckles, the storyline of the original Sonic 3 Knuckles, however, Sonic's storyline was the second to last level for him, or third to last, if counting the Doomsday Zone. The interior segment during the modern stage is meant to represent Hidden Palace Zone, even having a similar teleporter. Alright, so that's all the trivia and everything. So I thank you for watching, and you can see what uh, the modern Sonic does. Uh, but yeah, so I thank you for watching. The challenge of the video is how many. Uh, rings that I collect in uh, Chemical Plant Zone act, uh, both acts. Thank you for watching. Until next